27 big Canada's, three specs. I believe is what we end up so 30 birds a good night you know i'm claudio angaro and i take people hunting i woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself i'm gonna build a hunting lodge that was in 1994. now i lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall exposing my clients to some of the best waterfall hunting of their lives controlled chaos epic hunts across five million huntable acres we are hired to hunt. Good shooting, boys. Go, guys. Go. All right, so it's been a very, very busy day now. I've been hunting. This is a fourth hunt now. Plus, we got, you know, new processing people. All right, so here's Chrissy. Say hi, Chrissy. That's a lot of birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chrissy's our new general lodge assistant slash bird cleaner slash head jerky organizer maker. Soon to be <laughs> sausage making expert. We had a big morning, so she's going to be busy. These geese have been in here for about three days and they've been feeding kind of right, right behind me there. And it's hot. The wind went flat, but I just want to do a, a quick recap and you know, we always learn something every time we hunt. And so what we did today, we decided to use the edge of this slough bottom to put the upright blind. And we had such a stiff wind coming right out of the south that we thought we'd side shoot them. So we just put a whole bunch of dive bomb Canada goose silhouettes and then some specs. And, and the spec thing worked because we did have a flight com of specs come in and do it real well. Right yeah. up front on the left, come on the left to the right. Get ready, guys, okay, got him, you got him. Okay. Got him, yeah. let him come, let him come, let him come. Get ready, get ready. Go now, go, go, go! Oh my God. See, that's what we're talking yeah. about, right there. That was the one. More on the approach. Come on in, Jay. <clears throat> It, it really worked, but when the wind went flat, of course, our rig was a little bit further upwind than we wanted it to be, and the birds were targeting the upwind side a little bit, so we were a little bit off center. Coming on the left. On the left. On the left. Get ready. I know you did. <laughs> I didn't even get a shot. When it's hot and flat like this, when the birds decide to move, they move so fast. Ready, 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 straight out front. Go kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm gonna have to maybe call him a little bit earlier. On the left, guys, on the left. Ready? Not low on back. They're gonna hook, they're gonna hook. Go, 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 go. One. We got one in a broken leg. And we didn't have time to even go out and adjust decoys. I mean, it was just, you know, flight after flight. Straight out, straight out. <laughs> get ready, get ready. They're high on the left. Go, go, go on the left. I shot very poorly. I can, I can tell you that right now. It wasn't on my game at all until I think the last three rounds I finally got my groove and I killed a few, you know, but... The other guy shot well and you got your speckle belly. Somebody got one. Our basic setup, and it's been modified a little bit, but we ended up taking the rig and it was a little bit upwind of, of center from the blind. And of course the birds approach the main body and then we had another leg and then we found the bird skirt to the outside. So we pulled that in and then there's the there's the blind and you, you can't see the blind. The birds had no clue. I mean they were drifting over us and and then of course when the wind went flat they're kind of approaching from all directions and which is cool when you're sitting in an a-frame but uh the flip side of that is they're cooking pretty fast and not just doing the you know doing the lay down right in front of you with uh with a headwind anyways still a great evening and that's the setup all right jmo 
30 geese tonight. Thank you. Yeah, we should good. be clapping. Oh, good yeah. stuff. Yeah, that was fun. Tell us what you fun. thought. Oh, it's today. hot out though. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're getting about 32 on. today. So. Wait, let me get one more that was fun hunts. Um, the yeah, wind was constant and it died. Typical yeah, exactly. hot day. It's going to die when the okay. flights start coming. But yeah, we did a pretty cool Hats side off. shoot tonight. <laughs> we had an awesome cover, so we decided to uh, uh, utilize that. And and uh, yeah, they drifted by us. They were a little I'm, bit I'm far out, coaching. but again, when that wind died, you don't have control of them, right? We had some coming in from behind and whatnot. The guy shot really well, but uh, nothing like shooting those big honkers. I, I know I didn't. Yeah, no. I, I, no, I was off the first half of the night. So what did I bring you? I don't know. I'm an amateur. <laughs> 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 I felt good this morning, but I just couldn't get on it tonight. I don't know. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was fun. I know, it was fun. Thanks, Jmo. Okay, Thirty welcome. birds, a good night. You know, anytime you have that kind of heat during the day and you know it, it it just throws a little bit of a kink into the into the hunting you know but you know we used some good strategy tonight we had a good win so we side shot them with the stand-up blinds and the dive bombs and you know again I mean it it I mean I don't know this is your fourth hunt I've been on all four I thought they all were pretty good you know oh yeah awesome. like I, I know even even this hunt and I, I keep saying this like Jason and I and the other guides we see things through a different set of glasses, you know, and, and this was a little bit of a gong show for a better word, right? The birds are approaching from all different angles. Guys, thanks, and we're doing a pothole shoot, I guess, in the morning. All yeah. Right. Well, that was the plan. We're in a hole here, and I didn't get a chance to talk to the boys yet, but an early flight out, so.